Nine, eight, we have a go for engine start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition. We have liftoff of Discovery on the second mission to Planet Earth Research Flight. My first space shuttle mission was on Discovery in 1993, and that was certainly a career highlight. And eventually, I had four space missions, spent almost a thousand hours in space, helping to understand more about the Earth's atmosphere and also assemble the International Space Station. My space journey started when I was halfway through my undergrad, and that's when NASA selected the first class of astronauts that included women and astronauts of color. And 12 years later, I was selected as an astronaut myself. And I must say, it's a little bit hard to keep my concentration because I'm looking out the aft windows at some great views of South America right now. That is a very pretty picture we're still looking at down here. This is discovery we've captured the bus. Great work, Ellen. After my four space shuttle missions, uh, I had a variety of management and leadership roles at Johnson Space Center, including the last five years I was there, I was the center director. And now, it's time to introduce our second candidate for induction into the U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame, Ellen Ochoa. Being inducted into the Astronaut Hall of Fame and receiving the Presidential Medal of Freedom were both incredible honors. But yet what has been really rewarding over the last 30 years has been the chance to do outreach, to talk about STEM careers, about what we do in space, and especially to young students who aren't well represented in STEM careers. I continue to be passionate about advocating for STEM and for having an impact on uh, young explorers and dreamers and that's one of the reasons that I love being involved with SRI. SRI is pioneering in space and developing cutting edge technology for use in groundbreaking missions. For example, SRI's advanced imaging technology is being used on the Parker Solar Probe and is included on the Europa Clipper mission. And both of these are helping to capture stunning images of our solar system. As a board member, I've had the opportunity to visit SRI's labs in Menlo Park, Princeton, and Palo Alto. Each visit fills me with awe, and there's so many interesting things to see. I look forward to visiting some of SRI's other locations and getting to hear about the interesting, important, and innovative work that is being done by SRI.